Mike. Let me shoot back. Sorry about that, Mike. Internet seems to be on the fritz like crazy tonight. But it seems to have stabilized for now. If it continues to act out, I can go just end my stream. Alright, let's set up what I intend to do anyway. Alright. <clears throat> as far as I know, this is eccentric even among the academia crowd. He loves to talk about riddles with anyone, as well as research all kinds of encryption methods. But some of his riddles are too incomprehensible, so not many people are willing to deal with him. So he came up with a solve riddles for prizes idea. Simply put, this riddle actually hints at the treasure trove. You just have to show up at the right place at the right time using the right method and you'll get the treasure. Drusus also gave a hint, saying that all the locations are all within Sumero City. But as you can see, no adventurer has been able to succeed. You can certainly try if you're interested. But if you ask me, I tell you to do something else more productive. Okay, so... Riddles that will lead to treasure. Interesting. Homeward figure of the lighthouse of the bridge. Lighthouse on the bridge. Save my lighthouse here. So that's the lighthouse. That's the bridge. Oh god, clickety click again? Really? She's here? Oh, the fishing spot. Eesh. Dang. Stuck in Queen Summer for a long time just because I could be creep. <laughs> and then Monstead and RMD as well. When you know it, no one was able to take it. I'll be taking on photographs. I wanted to take some photos for my husband to see as well, but since you're here, traveler may ask you how many photos. Sure. Alright, I'm from the traveler. How will this angle do? Should I should be presented? Okay, I'm ready. I don't need to do just. Oh, I'm trying to drive. So, okay, we finished taking the pictures. Let me have a look at them. Ah, oh, wonderful. My beauty is in the ever. Ha ha ha. Oh, okay, these lines are still the same. Alright, let me finish. Do you want to add this to the map as well? These looks like normal fishes. <laughs> oh, so I don't know if I'm with this fish. What is it? What is it? <gasps> is it another Paimon? I guess the rest of all the Sumeru fishes, and all of them is a ornamental fish, so... Victory is almost nice. ours! What is it? What is it? <gasps> is it another Paimon? Let's check. Extremely so stable close. as well, so that's Stay nice. Cool. Yay! Time to celebrate! Uh, line. Okay. <sighs> Victory is almost ours! Oh, this is a 
special fish. That was a tough fight. What's the bridge that he's talking about? The um the one you that allows it. you to enter Sumeru City. Whew, that was a was, tough that's like fight. the only bridge. Oh well, that's pretty close cool to morning. Fishes. Nice guy will be wild fishes. That's fine. So there's a bridge here, but I don't think that's part of Sumeru City, is it? Maybe it's that bridge? I mean, that's that bridge. I mean, let's see the lighthouse from here. Hmm. So it's a death bridge? <clears throat> a homeward figure of the lighthouse on the bridge. the um, money box on there so yeah <clears throat> oops I was <laughs> operating and that's why I didn't notice oh well ah so that homo figure refers to the lighthouse shadow cast of the bridge oh there's also a note inside what does it say a mirror not made of glass reflects every drop. Yet another riddle. I almost the wonder what's this going on. Mirror not made of glass reflects every drop. If it's drama, I think it should be the um. What should we call it? Theater? I want to see this on the west. After this, I will go to the event shop. Definitely not the rest. They will not be of glass reflects every drama.
Oh, there it is. Was it right? Oh, I was right. So the mirror not middle class talking about this point in drama. So here the dialogue panels and I said that's what I can build up the stretch. They're still annoying inside the chest since I got things to keep in zero puzzle solving and that continues. Damn, I can't even actually solving this without a guide. Holy shit. Although to be fair, the lighthouse one was just like pure luck. So Alright, this is too totally just bullshit. So half to knowledge. The bridge on the Damien? Okay, this one feels like this. Like definitely this cause Yeah, I think it's up there and there's only one path up directly. Yeah, so if it isn't on this thing. So far all of them being on the full treasure boxes. Oh what the fuck the world was printed. Next on the agenda. I mean, it could be on the other bridges up. Well, since I really need them, I should just check out these paths. We're way behind schedule. Yes, they have. Oh, they do have the Akasha terminals still on. Oh, and travel is on. It doesn't feel like the soul path because it's like two ish paths, more than two paths. And this place just like meanders all over the fucking place. Sanctuary. Yeah, I definitely haven't been here. Oh, there's a treasure chest or something around here, isn't there? I even access the door like he does lock behind them. You gods, what do you have to say? Ask. <laughs> no matter how far up you may climb, you still can't touch the sky. Hello. Hello, hardly anyone comes around here. Are you here to stargaze? The untouchable sky conceals the truth about the world. At least that's what we rat his view. But the mortal side is limited. We can guarantee that they can see all the celestial signs clearly. How about you? What do you think? Things may not be as they seem. You're right. People can easily can be easily distracted or deceived. If I were a mantra, I might tell you that ignorance is also a blessing. But people's ignorance will not affect the existence of truth. Sometimes blindness. Oh, I may have said too much. Just ignore my word and let it go the world. Cool, you are the fact. Okay, what's your other option? The stars determine your destiny. Ah, are you talking about that research on constellations? Unfortunately, I don't have the vision, so I couldn't participate in those research projects. But I feel like I, but I feel the stars don't decide your destiny so much as they show it. Because if it was decided, then it could be changed, right? Destiny could be changed, and maybe Greater Lord Rukatavata wouldn't have met her end. Okay, so this definitely isn't the soul path of destiny. Sorry, the soul path of knowledge. Also, that's a fucking some of the tallest. Hey, Nahida, are you in there? I want to break in and rescue you. Oh. Damn, ledge. Yeah, I'm gonna climb up the 
tree section instead. A lot less protrusions. Okay, where's the highest branch? <coughs> Oh, I hear something. Fuck is it? Is this not the highest branch? Okay, this definitely has to be the highest branch. Yep, it is. Right now, stamina. Okay, uh, let me check this all. Is that another higher branch? Wait, 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 wait. Climb to another higher branch for achievement. What other high? Oh my god. Fuck you, whole your bus. God. Oh god. Oh come on! I was right fucking there, alright. Maybe this will be a bit more stable. Hopefully. <laughs> Switch to Sayu or something. Because I know Sayu has that skill where um. She can like auto track on railings and stuff. What the hell is that? Can I go catch up on my sleep? This doesn't work, I don't know what will. Yes, 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 yes! Summit of Wisdom got it! Holy fuck you. I wanted to collect the achievement. Was that too much to ask? <laughs> oh, I hope so. He doesn't die. Okay, Wonders of the World, Summit of Wisdom. Is it dying again? Please, internet, please don't. <laughs> oh, right, I forgot I was falling. Okay, so, soul path to wisdom. Okay, there's a river here. There's a pond here as well. Uh, could it be in here? Uh, don't look like it. Okay, let's just back to the though. Nope. This world. Okay, so if it isn't here, is it a path leading to the academia instead of inside the academia itself? Okay, let's check this out. Excuse me. <coughs> Alright, what's the path now? Uh, the path splits! So path to not touch my ass. What was it again? 
Ah, soul pump storage. Oh, wait, library? <clears throat> I remember there is a massive ass library. And there is like one bridge leading to it, isn't there? It doesn't feel correct. <clears throat> and this still doesn't look like I might have to give up and actually look at the guide. Yeah, there's no river thingies here. Damn it, so half the knowledge. But there's more than. Teleport the academia and into the house of Diana. Look under the bridge at the entry. Motherfucker, so I actually was correct. God, fucking hell, are you serious? I thought I'll be in box, like water boxes, not a fucking treasure chest. <sighs> <clears throat> I was in the pond of blooming. I was in the pond of blooming with watery pearls that winter. My uh. constraint has been slowly leading me up. Maybe that one on the left that I was thinking of? Man, this building is taking a while. No, I mean, stop. Oh, 
Oh, there's the box. Cool. Oh, I better not drown. Okay. I'm real. Most of the research is talking about this kind of power. I want to talk to the sleeves to Whoever wrote this really had all the time in the world, huh? I'm one of the easiest to the riddle. Please go to the front door of the health door of knowledge and yeah. Does it work? Nope. Literally 12 hours wait, huh? <sighs> hmm. This is the temple of knowledge, isn't it? May I fuck up the time? There he is, Drusus. Is no one coming today either? Is this the front door of the Temple of Knowledge? That's right, this is the front door of the Temple of Knowledge. You seem to have solved all my riddles. And that's wonderful. I thought no one would be able to do that today either. Actually, I'm going back to have lunch soon. Why do you write these riddles? Because it's fun, of course. That was a quick answer. Other than that reason, why didn't I wrote down these riddles? <laughs> Did you think I was just enjoying being difficult? Who knows? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> then you have misunderstood me, like some people in the academia. I wrote these riddles down because I simply enjoy the feeling of pondering that comes with puzzling them out. When you look back at my riddles, you can see that there is always a keyword leading to the final answer. If you use this keyword as a base and keep thinking about it, the final answer will gradually present itself. If I simply wanted to make things difficult for others, I would raise all the clues and maybe turn the riddle into a truly unsolvable problem. Let's not talk about this now. Since you solved all my riddles, you can take these. This is the rod you wanted to give your opponent and keep them. Cool. I've got it. I've got it. You recall. Okay, let's clean it. <sighs> I've got it, I've got it. Okay. Right, let's actually continue on the Archon Quest now. Okay, let's teleport all the way back down.
This should be Sataria's <clears throat> favorite fortune telling spot. <laughs> uh, so should we ask the fortune teller about Sataria? No, I already have enough information on Sataria. The most important thing now is for you to pay attention to the vendor's talking style and key characteristics. Talking style and key characteristics? My poor lost lambs. Have you become troubled over your fate? The divine voice of wisdom often echoes between mine ears. If thou be blessed today by the gods, I may be able to show you the way. Huh? Really? Nahida, you've been whispering things to her? Shh! <laughs> <laughs> My friend here has some doubts regarding her future. Can we get a fortune reading for her? Hmm. <laughs> of course, of course. In that case. It would seem that Harut and Marut are quite wary of you. Perhaps, at some time in the past, you have somehow offended the gods. Yeah, I'm all of them. Hmm. Only mocking the god of Animo, questioning the lord <laughs> of Geo's financial savviness, and brawling with the god of Electro. Do those count? <laughs> hmm? Oh, nothing. Go on, pick an aspect for her to divine. Find my prospects in health. Health prospects, no problem at all. Oh. <laughs> the gods have spoken. The truth shall be revealed. Your life shall continue on for, for huh? many. Many tens of thousands of years? Impossible. Harut, Marut, did you two spoil my divination? I've never read a fortune so absurd. Uh, actually, Pinon thinks this is probably the most accurate fortune telling you've ever done. <laughs> <clears throat> Admit that the orientation of today's celestial matrix is uh, suboptimal. As such, there will be no charge. So, travels affected so? me awful. Yeah, well, cool. That can't be helped. If you were to bring some food offerings for Harut and Marut on your next visit, perhaps they could help you reverse the wheels of <coughs> fate. I want to reverse being mortal. seen Harut and Marut be so wary of anyone. <laughs> oh, if only. <clears throat> Is this another one of Sataria's favorite stalls? Yep, it belongs to a king. His father helped Sataria a lot when she first moved to Samari City, so she still comes by whenever she has time. When I start talking with them, listen carefully to the details of our conversation. Ah, dear customers! Would you like to look at some pottery? We caught wind of your great craftsmanship, so we specifically came to take a look. Oh, I recognize you. Aren't you Miss Catherine from the Adventurer's Guild? <laughs> Sounds like I'm in for some big business. Speaking of, where did you learn this trade? I suppose you could say it all started with my dad. He's a mason by trade, but I picked up an interest in clay while apprenticing for him. After that, I began making pottery by myself in secret. And I simply changed trades when my works turned out well. Although it's a pity that I'm no longer making much use of the knowledge provided to me by the Akasha. 
Is your father still working as a mason? Oh, no, not anymore. A few years back, he fell from a roof and broke his leg. Since he had already saved enough mora over all these years, he's just enjoying the retired life in Fort Ormos nowadays. I see. We wish him peace and happiness in his retirement. I'll have someone in charge of logistics at the guild come by another day for some goods. We'll leave you to it. Take care now. No problem. Rest easy. All our goods are sure to meet your every need. He's shot. This should be our final stop. Sitaria's always thinking of this restaurant when she's working at the academia. So she always comes by whenever she's out in the city. Nahida, you've really thought of everything! <laughs> it's my duty to protect Samira's citizens, after all. Hi there. I feel like I've seen you down by the docks before. Huh? Sorry, I don't quite remember. If I recall... You were having a discussion with someone about shipbuilding at the time. Ah, oh, that's right. I've always been really interested in feats of marine engineering. After all, I grew up in Leeway Harbor and spent my entire childhood staring at the ships going in and out of the port. I came to Sumeru to study, but failed to make it into the academia due to my lack of talent. But... I'm still discussing all kinds of problems with different scholars. And I'm continuing to study and perform research from the restaurant's basement. I'm sure I'll get to the academia after their next round of exams. What an admirable spirit for learning. Amazing! Uh, sure. But you'll find hardworking people <coughs> wherever you go. So this restaurant has a basement as well? Huh. First I've heard of it. That's right. It's not usually open to patrons. Most of the time, employees use it for breaks or to hold private events. I see. Yes, that makes sense. Well, good luck with your studies, Miss Chishan. <laughs> Thank you so much. As long as I can make it into the academia as an official student, I'll be happy. Oh, nice. Was that everybody? Mm-hmm. Three familiar faces should be enough for Sataria. Uh, what's the point of all the information we've collected? Nahida, you still haven't told us how you're planning to make Sataria face her problems. Sataria is already used to avoiding her problems, so we must find a way to break through her usual sensibilities. I remember that you mentioned that the Aramites in Port Ormos are all making a fuss about the upcoming resurrection of the Scarlet King. Although it's all just a boatload of nonsense, the faith of her homeland may turn out to be Sataria's soft spot. Oh, Paimon gets it now! You want to take advantage of the guilt Sataria feels about her homeland! Okay. Although she knows she should return home to help the people of the desert, all she's done is conspire with the sages. If the threat was with the meek demands of Sataria. Hmm. So, how do we set that up? Well, the Scarlet King is long gone, and Sataria is also too smart to fall for any simple tricks. If we simply engaged her under the guise of the Scarlet King's believers, she would definitely be weary of us. And we may not get anywhere. But if we were to borrow some of her close acquaintances to talk with her, her reaction would probably be very different. So you mean you're going to possess those people we just talked to? Yep. Possess them through the Akasha, imply that they've already converted to the faith of the Scarlet King, and then convey our made up will of the Scarlet King. As long as everything goes smoothly, We'll get through to Sataria for sure. 
She'll never guess that we had anything to do with it. Damn, that's what she's scary. Ah, yeah, so that's how you're going to use all the info we collected on these people. It's so that you won't slip up and break form. Possessing them will only work if you can manage to pass off as them. Exactly. So, best of luck with impersonating them. I'm sorry, Wood. Huh? Best of luck? But we don't know how to possess anyone. That's no problem at all. I'll just share all their senses with you once I possess them. As long as you're also wearing an Akasha terminal, the effect will basically be as if you've possessed them yourself. Huh. That is pretty convenient. But what does she have to do this? Can't you do it yourself? Although I've been observing humans for a while, I've never been good at imitating them. Hmm. You're not wrong. It's always been painfully obvious whenever you try to pass as Catherine. Alright, I'll try my best at this. Uh, if it was at all possible, I would have preferred to leave these people alone. But seeing how things are now, I probably should just accept it and push on. Yeah, don't beat yourself up over it. We're only doing this to help everyone, and we'll only be borrowing them for a little while anyway. All right, then let's give it a go tomorrow afternoon. Wait for tomorrow afternoon. That's not time. Wait, no. Hey, build a call. I'm bored. Let's see if we can get Ken, 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 Candace. I can't pronounce that name. That name. Uh, Candace on which banner? Hey, yo, Candace. if that actually worked. <laughs> okay, wait, what's this? What's the oh, the little book. Okay, let's go to Candace and level her up. Hello, you. This is not correct. she comes. Satori is here! Let's quietly follow her. Once she starts talking to her acquaintances, we'll find a safe spot to begin possessing them. As for how we'll sway her to our side, I'll leave that to you. 
I trust you'll know what to say. Uh, Paimon's starting to feel kind of nervous. Oh, my okay, let's see. Let's go. Looks like they've already started talking. Let's find a hiding spot and get started. <laughs> That's the hiding spot, okay then. <laughs> the eyes. That's right. You really can't force anything when it comes to love. And besides, everyone around me has a very different background and outlook. Uh, are you still listening to me, Nabia? Oh, of course I'm listening. You were talking about troubles with your love life, right? I heard everything you said. <laughs> <sighs> okay then. Crap, the speech just seemed again. a little distracted for what? a moment there. Damn it. <laughs> Strange. Your cats seem pretty worked up. Is something wrong? <laughs> I was I thinking that would they happen. Quiet, happy kitties. Oh, what are their names again? Hmm. Um, Haru and Maru. Ah. That's right. They are just little darlings, aren't they? Harut and Marut. Ahem. <clears throat> so, which fortune do you want me to read for you today? You must have come for another echo of the divine voice of wisdom. Hmm. I'd like to get another reading on my love prospects, but to be perfectly honest with you, I feel like I've been a real mess That's recently. A mess? Well, um, could you do a reading on how long it'll take me to finish my current project at work? I, I really just want to get it over with. <laughs> That's hilarious. I hear you. No problem at all. Uh, the gods will reveal the truth. Um... <clears throat> mm. Ah, the gods have spoken. The gods are asking. Sitaria. Why haven't you gone home? Why haven't I gone home? Do the gods really yeah, know everything I've been thinking about? non Sitaria, why don't you just go home? It's a demand now instead of a question. Uh, the gods seem to be truly upset. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I know I failed the gods. Please pass on my most sincere apologies and ask for their divine forgiveness. And if I may ask, Nabia, is there a specific god who's speaking to you right now? Hmm. What an inconsiderate and naive question. The god who is speaking there to me is, is of course, there. the wisest and Why? mightiest of all. I said go from dead eyes to bye bye's. The Scarlet King? No wonder he would make such a demand of me. Oh, wait <clears> a second. <throat> the Scarlet King passed away a long time ago. Even though news of the Scarlet King's resurrection has been spreading like wildfire, it's all just a misinformation campaign from the academia. How can the Scarlet King still exist in real life? Huh? King Dashra's resurrection is a misinformation campaign? Insolence! I am the Scarlet King's most loyal believer. Do you wish to refute his voice of wisdom? Oh, no, no. As a child of the desert, I am only reveling in his power upon learning that his divine glory has touched even this city. I will think very carefully about his demand of me. I'm sorry. I must go now. ran off in a hurry. She looked pretty upset, too. Well done. Sitaria didn't seem to suspect anything amiss. To have something she's been trying desperately to avoid show up out of nowhere and berate her, that must have shaken her to the core. Aww, Nahida. 
It seems like you understand human emotions really well after all. All I know are some abstract Haragata theories. And in any case, my time with you has shown a lot of them to be utterly useless. I'm still trying to make sense of everything. Anyway, enough of that. Let's hurry and catch up to Sataria. Oh shoot, I interrupted my mom. Oh well. Oh, that's not good wolf. So transposed. Okay. That worthy hide also. Uh. into Harut and Marut. They seem terrified of me all of a sudden. <clears throat> the traveler's essence is left behind. <laughs> and you are back low. It's okay. I just got caught up in something. Oh, actually, didn't you ask me to help you look for work? What kind of work were you looking for again? Uh, masonry work. Oh, right. Your old man's craft. How could I forget? Speaking of, how's he doing? Is he feeling any better? He's feeling a lot better, and he's walking more now. Oh, that's good to hear. I have been thinking a lot about him. If I could get some more time off, I'd love to pay him a visit. Actually, while we're talking about him, is he still living in Port Ormos? Yeah, he's been retired there for a while. If you could find the time, please write him a letter. Please pass on that recently, faith in the Scarlet King has taken root in Port Ormos and has begun to spread across Sumeru. He has a quick temper, and has always been a devout follower of the Dendro Archon. I don't want him to get into a fight with those Scarlet King believers because of a difference in beliefs. Oh? So, who are you siding with in all of this? The Academia or the Scarlet King? Uh, I... <sighs> I'm so jealous of you. You were born a child Damn of the traveler. desert. How the fuck yet are you, you chose to betray the Scarlet King. And now you spend all your time with those crooks from the Academia. Damn, Akeem, traveler. you don't mean you've also become a believer of the Scarlet King. What's so strange about becoming a believer of the wise Scarlet King? In fact, aren't you the strange one? The one who still can't pick a side? C can't pick a side? Me? Whoa. I had no idea you'd be so good at this. Damn, Traveler. Before I knew, I really started getting into the role. I wasn't too harsh, was I? You really zeroed in on the issue and put it right in front of her. It might feel a bit overwhelming for Sataria. But once everything is over, I'll be sure to pay her a visit to her mind and explain everything. Anyway, let's keep going. I just moved out. What happened? Oh. <clears throat> so, Shishan, have you noticed anything weird in the city lately? Like, 
As if someone was trying to preach to you about something. No, I've been spending all my time studying the basement. Oh, right. Speaking of strange things, I celebrated the Subzerus festival so many times that I lost count. That was really weird. <laughs> Wait, how could you be aware of that? That should be impossible. Nothing in the report indicated anything like that. Are you still failing to realize that the Academia's lowly tricks could never deceive all of Sumeru's citizens? Jishan, don't tell me that you've converted to the Scarlet King as well! What an absurd question. You make it sound like I should be ashamed for becoming a believer of the Scarlet King. In reality, shouldn't you be the one who is ashamed? You, who worked side by side with the Academia, and treated people as nothing more than experimental subjects? Please, please stop! Satori is still trying to run from her problems. Did I push too hard? She can no longer justify everything to herself. Hey, she's trying to talk to the guards. What should we do? This is the most important part of all. Quick, get ready. Mercenary. You're a member of the Corps of Thirty, correct? Please help me pass a message to the Matra right away. The situation in the city is getting out of control. Please, try to remain calm, Miss. Tell me what's happening in the city. Heretics are infiltrating the city, and they've already converted many residents to their side. Damn, heretics? Really what kind of heresy are you talking processing. about? The like, Scarlet King! Many people anymore. I know have suddenly started believing in him, but he's long dead. It's impossible. Miss Sataria, nothing is impossible. Y you know my name? The Scarlet King is immortal, and all who defy him will one day pay the price. You must face the truth, Sataria. You tread a treacherous path, and the longer you ignore it, the tighter the Academia's grasp on you will become, and the deeper you will be ensnared. Child of the Scarlet King, never forget that the desert that belongs to the you lies elsewhere. What's so strange about becoming a believer of the wise Scarlet King? In fact, aren't you the strange one? The one who still can't pick a side? What an absurd question. You make it sound like I should be ashamed for becoming a believer of the Scarlet King. Sataria, why haven't you gone home? Oh, man. Seems that no matter where I run, I only keep finding more believers of the Scarlet King. I have to say, this is a familiar feeling. I've also been running from my guilt this whole time. Guilt over my part in the Sage's plans. And from ignoring the letters from the children of my homeland. But no matter how much I may try to ignore and get rid of it, my guilt always comes back. You should follow your heart. You won't necessarily lose your research opportunities by facing the truth. Besides, did you really want to conduct your research while carrying such heavy feelings of guilt? <sighs> How do you know me so well? Are you truly just a believer of the Scarlet King? Or are you the god himself? That's not important. The important thing is to pass judgment on the Academia and its sages, and to correct their mistakes. If you could provide some assistance in this matter, Perhaps it could serve as a form of atonement. I've actually never believed in the gods, but I've always believed in serendipity. Your appearance must be a fated opportunity for me to get out of this wretched situation. Please tell me, what can I do for you? Great, we finally convinced her. <clears throat> How much do you know about the sage's current activities? I was just one of the designers for the Mast Dream Harvest Scheme, which is what happened around the Subzerus Festival. But I know very little about the full scope of the overall project. 
I'd assume that only staff with the highest clearance would have access to those confidential documents. I've just been working to meet the Grand Sage's specified requirements. However, there's something that's been really bothering me. I heard that a scholar who was previously expelled has returned to the city, and even the sages are still quite wary of him. And I'll cuss that even the sages are still wary of? To fight against the Academia, we will need to figure out the nature and the purpose of their work. Is there a way for us to get access to the confidential documents you mentioned? It should be possible if we're willing to take some risks. After all, I'm an assistant to the Grand Sage, and I've been working on many tasks outside of the project. One thing, though, I won't be able to transfer the documents to you through the Akasha once I get my hands on them. The Sages have always closely monitored all activities within the Akasha. Um, let me see... Uh, let's use the most <clears throat> primitive method! Send someone to pick up the documents tomorrow evening at the Academia entrance. The Academia entrance? Wouldn't that be too conspicuous? Don't worry about that. I assure you, this won't be a trap. I'm only suggesting this location because it'll draw more scrutiny for me to leave the Academia again. It'll be safest for me to distract the guards long enough to hand you the documents. All right, I trust you. So, uh, if I were to successfully complete this task, would it mean I've atoned for my wrongdoings? Um, that'll depend on the judgment of the Dendro Archon. The Dendro Archon? That's right. Her people are the ones we have endangered. As the God of Wisdom, she's also the one responsible for judging and guiding the scholars. Maybe it's time for me to find a god to believe in. Just as Nahida predicted, we've managed to bring Sataria to our side! The Traveler's execution was ingenious. She's the one who deserves all the praise. Well, now that we've made plans to meet again tomorrow evening, all we can do is pray for Sataria's mission to go off without a hitch. Hey, but if we're going to pray to the gods, aren't we just praying to you? God of Wisdom and Guardian of the Scholars? Mm -hmm. No, no. The truth is the true guardian of scholars. I've always believed that. Anyway, let's meet again tomorrow evening at the Adventurer's Guild. So, yeah, enjoy Moon Knight, I guess. Turn. Let's change the time. Seven PM tomorrow.
right? That's right. I suppose I'm the other captain in your mind. And we just call her Ranida. We're on a secret mission tonight, so we need to protect Catherine's identity. Yep, Paimon's right. We cannot fully rule out the chance that the meetup tonight is just a trap. If something were to happen, my existence may be the only trump card we'll be able to play. After all, the Academia should still be unable to confirm the existence of my consciousness in the outside world. Yep, yep, exactly! Just what Paimon was thinking. I somehow doubt that. Mm, anyway, enough about that. Let's just make sure to be on our guard. Speaking of which, don't you feel like something is off? Off? What do you feel is off? It's just a little too quiet around here. It's the middle of the night. Of course it's quiet. You're not getting paranoid, are you? No. It's never quiet. I think she's right. It really is a lot quieter than usual. If you look around, there seems to be fewer people on the streets. I'm not sure if this is the case for the entire city, though. Maybe it's just a coincidence. Maybe Sataria figured out a way to not only distract the guards, but also to get everyone to go to sleep early, just so we can exchange the documents in peace. I also can't quite figure out why things feel a little off. But now that we're here, let's go ahead and meet her as we planned. Well, regardless, as long as you're here with us, Paimon feels a little safer. people out right now let's hope it'll be this quiet in front of the academia oh God, and that Sataria no managed to distract all the guards that's scary is, is this where Catherine's gonna get like turned into a donut Should be far enough. Whew. Paimon needs to catch her breath first. Uh, is the Hida going to be okay? <clears throat> we only made it out because of her. Wait, what happened? Did they just skip a whole bunch of bullshit? What happened? Hang on, hang on, hang on. What the fuck happened? Did I skip a cutscene? I'll be so upset if I miss that cutscene. And if I haven't seen the cutscene, I'm gonna be pissed. I'm gonna like pull up a YouTube video and watch someone.
God, I did. I think I might have actually missed a long ass cutscene. Oh no, I really did this. Should be far enough. I'm scared. I'm scared. So first. weird. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna. I'm gonna pull up a YouTube video of someone going through this so I can watch it and then I'll stream it here as well. Damn, this pisses me off so badly. Or did they think people did they, did they expect people to teleport there instead or something? Okay, that should work hopefully. Ah <sighs> okay, hang on, let me reorder fucking everything. Uh put the the window temperature. Okay, there we go. Um, browser. Exactly, and Dodrio deserves that. Dodrio yeah, literally... a bunch of stuff to go back over here. All right. <clears throat> Why did I miss this cutscene? <gasps> so weird. Night. There we go. Ah, the triumphant hero returns at last. To a rather spectacular welcome, even if I do say so myself. You're the outcast, expelled from the academia. Indeed I am. Although these days they tend to call me the doctor. If you're looking for your researcher friend, she has already been taken into confinement. With some basic caution, she could have discovered the listening device on her person. Clearly, she lacks the degree of rigor expected of a true scholar. So, what's up with everyone else then? The people of Samir City! What have you done to them? I simply made some minor adjustments to their Akasha terminals. Now they can deposit information directly into the subconscious. As you can see, all these lovely people now believe this traveler is a hero who has just saved the world. <laughs> My experiment is a success. And now it seems they can no longer hold back their sheer adoration. Oh no! What should we do? These are all just regular people! Leave now! You need to get out of here. What? That guy's a Fatui Harbinger! We can't just leave you here! Nor can I abandon the people of Samaru! Appear to have overridden their mental faculties with your own consciousness. To possess such a powerful mind, you must be the god of wisdom. Damn, that's really cool. Okay, pause that. Um. 
this. So why is there not? Alright. Uh, auto. Holy shit, that was an epic cutscene. So the story found out the trump card, that's bad. Jump between lines. Hopefully, she'll be fine. Paimon wasn't counting on running into a new harbinger here, let alone such a high ranking one. That guy was number two. Too so scary. They just heard about he one. He called himself so. the doctor. Remember, Tainari told us about him. Sataria did say that someone who once got expelled from the academia came back recently, and that even the sages are wary of him. Yep. Sounds like she must have been talking about the doctor. We underestimated the number of parties involved. Yeah. Now that the doctor's <coughs> in the picture, we're no longer just dealing with the academia. They're in cahoots with the Fatui. But what are the Fatui after this time? Another Gnosis? We need to find a way to reunite with Nahida. Yeah. Things would be a lot easier with Nahida's help. Nahida said we'll meet again outside of the city. But we can't just keep waiting around, right? Let's go find someone else who might be involved. Uh, you mean... Let's go find Hanari. Oh, right! Wasn't he invited by the sages to work on some project when we were staying with him in the Vidya Forest? That has to be the same project! Even though he turned it down at the time, he might still know something. There's no time to lose. Let's go to Gundarvaville. <coughs> okay, uh, where? Oh, wait, where? Hang on, did the quest not activate? Also, I'm pissed I did, that that stupid fucking cutscene didn't trigger. Gandava Bill. Damn it, come on. Look at the map. You're probably blind as hell right now. I know. That's cheating, exactly. <laughs> Watch me troll us, Sion. Central crystal Still damn it. Thanks, Jackie. No craving pizza, says Z. Guess I'm ordering pizza. Oh, I forgot to do the. Alright, it's fine, guys. You don't have to do the whole. It's seven people. Do the thing. I, I fucked up. I forgot to do it. Hold it right there. A blonde haired what? traveler and a floating fairy. We've got Wait, you want me to take a look around. You've fallen right into our trap. Are you mercenaries from the Core of 30? Did you come here to arrest us? Core of 30? We're nothing like those government lapdogs who don't even get scraps for their work. We are an elite brigade that commands the highest commission rate in all of Sumeru. We're here on the orders of a client known only as... Oh, Dottori is stopping me again, really? The outcast? An outcast from the academia? Sounds like the doctor. But why wouldn't the doctor just send the Fatui after us? Local mercenaries might have an edge over the Fatui. Maybe he's taking advantage of the academic resources. Still wasting time on idle chit chat. We'll shut you up soon enough. Get them! Uh, you're up, traveler. Oh no. Following orders. Oh no, <laughs> this is all I want to do. Okay. Illusion shattered. No touching. Take that. I'll need take my I'll take my 
new punty. Shine down. Born of ice and frost. Need. Why are you not fucking the blue? Need. It isn't over yet. Here comes reinforcements. Oh, how many of you are there? Probably won't be long before we see more of them. Yeah, looks like we'll have to keep our guards up. But this doctor guy seems like a pretty tough opponent. He knew exactly where to set up an ambush. Did he predict that we would try to find Kainari? Ugh, going up against smart people is tough. Anyway, let's keep going. Next on the agenda. How am I not dead? How am I not dead? I'm not even looking at the screen. I should probably switch to my um what was it? C box because I'm not really collecting sorry, not doing any honor on stuff. Oh no, I wanted to get this Sumeru Rose. Am I stuck? There we go. Oh, hi, Kuli. Oh, it's the traveler in Paimon. What are you two doing back here? Kale, it's nice to see you again. Are you doing all right? I... To be honest, I'm not doing too well. My Elazar has been progressing at a faster rate lately. Oh and no. It's harder to complete more intricate tasks. No, As a result, Master Tainari is taking me off the patrol schedule. Hey, he will only allow me to stay here and coordinate other people's tasks. Oh, Kale. It seems like curing Irman souls are only chance. Speaking of Tainari, did he go off on patrol? We're here to talk to him. Oh, Master Tainari? He just left the Avidia Forest a little while ago. He was headed to Party's DI. Uh, huh. He left? But isn't Tainari always saying that he never wants to leave the Avidia Forest? He even turned down the Sage's invitation. I thought it was weird too. Master Tainari always prioritizes his work as a forest watcher above everything. He almost never leaves his post. He left in a hurry this time, though. Tracker, that wasn't nice. Oh. You think you have a reason? No, I only found out that he left through a message he left behind. He also made sure to delegate all his tasks using a schedule. <sighs> to leave in such a hurry? I guess he had something urgent to take care of. Hmm. Master Tainari originally studied in the Immorta Darshan of the Academia, and part of DI is something like the Immorta's research base. Many rare shrubs and grasses have been planted there for research. I know that before he became a forest watcher, Master Tainari once spent a long time conducting research at Party's DI. A research base, huh? Gotta wonder what kind of research Tainari just decided to work on all of a sudden. Oh, we don't have a lot of time, so let's go look for him at Party's DI. Please take care of yourself, Coley. Uh, don't worry. I'm used to living with Elazar by now. If you run into Master Tainari, <coughs> please send him my regards. Got it. We'll do it. I had already made up my mind, to be honest with you, so I didn't try to hide my current condition. <sighs> Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. I get to see those Okay, part is DI. Hmm. 
Oh, Katrin! Oh no, is this where she gets punched? Nahida! <coughs> Thank goodness you're okay! We were so worried about you! You are Nahida, right? You haven't been reprogrammed by the doctor, have you? Hey! This was supposed to be a touching reunion, but you're ruining the moment! Actually, it's very smart of the Traveler to be wary of me right now. After all, the doctor has shown that his technology can apparently even control human minds. Plus, it's not like you could have known what happened after we split up and I was facing the doctor by myself. Even a pool of stagnant water after a torrential storm can occasionally pass as a patch of sky. Hmm. Kind of feels like only the real Nikita could come up with such an obscure analogy. I agree. I believe you. Huh? But I wasn't trying to win your trust or anything. All I wanted was to clarify my point. Well, we understand that point now. Please, Nahida, tell us more about what happened. Are those poor people all right? When you left, I was still in the middle of restoring everyone's minds. Thankfully, when the doctor mentioned depositing information into the subconscious, he didn't mean engraving information into their minds. Instead, he did something closer to creating hallucinations. That was still within my power to fix. Luckily, I managed to finish my restorations and mind jump away from him just as he was about to capture me. Whew. What a relief. The doctor sure pulled out some hidden cards, but good thing we had Nahida with us. So was that be not a Katrin? Yet. I gave away my true identity when I restored everyone's minds, which means we've lost another one of our trump cards. Also, the doctor is already an expert at modifying Akasha terminals. Maybe it's only a matter of time until he captures my consciousness inside the Akasha. Would that mean you'd no longer be able to jump between minds? Then how do we stop him? He's still at the Academia, so it's possible he already started messing with the Akasha. We need to hurry. Our position will only get worse with times. <laughs> like he's toying with us. What a nasty piece of work. Plus, the doctor's combat ability alone is apparently enough to make him worthy of being number two of the Fatui. We shouldn't give up hope just yet. Let's try to find another way to attack this problem. Actually, Nahida, how did you know we were trying to get to Party Fii? Have you been waiting for us? Yes, I have. I can see the Traveler's elemental energy. So I deduced your destination by looking at the direction you were moving in. You didn't come here for sightseeing, right? Did you find any leads? We're looking for a scholar we know. His name is Tainari, and the sages once tried to reach out to him. Why don't you come inside with us and see what we can find? Okay. Let's just hope we won't get him into trouble. Why? Oh, back in the greenhouse. Wait, that's... That's not Tanari. Traveler? Oh, Hypatia. It is you! Ah, the voice! It's Hypatia! Long time no see. Didn't expect to run into you here. Ah, what a pleasant surprise! So nice to see the two of you again. Who's this? She's a scholar we met in the Avidia Forest. When we last saw each other, she was still training in the... Uh... What's it called? Satyavada Life? Damn, you can remember oh, that, my old. That's right, we're old friends. Uh, you've come at just the right time. Ever since I've come here, 
hardly anyone has even talked to me. Papasia, you're way too excited about this. Actually, for you to lead the Avidia Forest means... Oh, you're not in training anymore? Wait, no. Did you already finish your training and reach Pari Porn Life? <laughs> what do you think? My consciousness has already managed to make contact with the Divine. Wow, really? Congratulations, then. You did it? Congratulations! I am really happy for you. <laughs> it's so exhilarating to share this sublime joy with others at long last! When my consciousness made contact with the gods... Ah, what a supreme and unparalleled experience oh, that's that a was! Fucking oaf. So fucking a hey, y'all. Okay. That sounds incredible! Actually, we're here about Nari. We're in a hurry, so let's chat about this next time. Oh, alright. Uh, actually, please wait. I haven't forgotten my promise to you. Remember? I promised to help you understand what you saw from Ermansoul once I gained deeper insights. <coughs> my current self has not only gained true insight, but I can even help you establish a direct connection to the consciousness of the Divine. You... you can do that? <laughs> do you believe in Nahida? I've never heard of anything like that, but... If you want to give it a try, I'll do my best to protect your consciousness during the process. Hold on. I brought some spirit Borneo with me. This is still a crucial part of the ceremony. <coughs> uh, we're using that incense again? All right now. Hold my hand. I'll help you establish a pathway to connect your consciousness. Okay. Ready? I should just prepare. I'm a bit sus. It took three betrayals for me to finally understand. The world is just an elaborate tapestry of lies. My fury will never be quelled. The first to betray me was a god. My creator. My mother. Valuing strength above all. She saw no worth in me, and I was discarded. The second was a human. My family. My friend. Consumed by fear, he saw me as an abomination. The third was one exactly like me. A hope for the future. A fledgling barely out of the nest. Powerless before his mortality, he broke his promise to me. Humans, they can't be trusted. And the gods fill me with pure loathing. So I said good riddance. <laughs> I denounced the world and laugh in its face. <laughs> My chest will never again be defiled by worldly filth. I will scrub away every last trace of human emotion. Then it will be empty, a blank slate, and ready to receive a supreme gnosis, brimming with pure divinity. <laughs> I'm sorry, not need to fuck. Why is it scaramouches? There's no need to fear. The pain will be brief. Your era is coming to an end. What the fuck? Why is Scaramouches? Is that correct? Oh, what was that? <laughs> okay, so that was correct. Oh god, I, I was so scared that the cutscenes have glitched out again. Holy shit. Also, damn, Scara, your first three betrayals, the third one was. Unfortunate, but 
Jeez. This is needed the greater loss consciousness, not King Dashrod's consciousness. Did we actually just see the Balladeer's memories? Everything matches what we know about him. But how is he connected to the divine consciousness that Hapasia was talking about? The king all fucking left field. You saw it, right? You felt it, right? Such a majestic god. Such a noble will. Such sublime emotion. Alas, shame. If only... If only that which beats within my chest wasn't a filthy mortal heart. Oh, oh great and merciful God, please grant me forgiveness and salvation. Do you understand now? I'm afraid this is no peri poor in a life, but rather... Pick up, Hypecia. Ah! You! Why are you so mean to me? Why is everyone hiding from me? I found divine wisdom. Shouldn't I receive praise and honor? Haven't I uncovered that light in the darkness? Papaya? She's been corrupted by Scarlet. That's how I always thought everything should be. Wait. Have I... already lost my mind? <clears throat> Maybe. I recommend not Wait, committing your mind to that anymore. Right. Oh yeah, Catherine's gonna turn it. Ah, he just gonna get punched. What the fuck? Cutscene? So, Katrin got the. That was okay. First of all, cool. We actually see Traveler's actual combat skill. And that is insanely awesome. Then, um. Oh. What's happening now? I'm gonna turn off the screen. Okay. Did I lose some. Did I miss something else again? Okay, no, I didn't. So, um, let me see, read on cutscene. <clears throat> and Catherine actually got punched with Nahida, and then what? She, in the la in her last moment, she linked consciousness with Lumin and dragged Lumin back to the... where she was caged. So that's a shame. Um, and then somehow they connected with Skara. And he's in his Megazord. Damn. That's insane. Mm. Are you okay, Nahida? Wait, no. Something mm. feels different. So I actually <gasps> swap consciousness with Nahida. That's cool. Oh, okay. oh, the traveler's back? It's me. What just happened? Nahida was controlling your body for a while. It seemed like she jumped over to you as an emergency measure right before the Catherine puppet was destroyed. <laughs> oh, damn. After that, Nari heard the commotion and came over. He helped us defeat the mercenaries and then he ran with us all the way here. Sam, she didn't just transfer her mind into my body. Our mind swapped places. What? You swapped places? You mean your consciousness also went into Nahida's body? 
plate. Then where is Nahida's consciousness? Where is she now? Back in her body, maybe? I never imagined that an individual's consciousness could be transferred around like this. Had I not seen it with my own eyes, I would have never believed it. I don't think this can be achieved with current human technology. Also, while we were running, the consciousness in your body told me to pass on a message. She said, The doctor has found a way to track my consciousness, so I can't journey with you anymore. But even in a moonless night, a shower of starlight can still drown out illusions and lies. Wish. Is trapped in the sanctuary of Sura's daughter for good this time. Was that message all she left for us? It's pretty vague. It's in a code that only we know. We can't let the doctor figure out what we're up to. Oh, that makes sense. Since the doctor captured her, she won't be able to say anything without him knowing. She's being extra careful. Even in a moonless night, a shower of starlight can still drown out illusions and lies. Huh. Paimon knows the moon illusions and lies are from the alchemical divination at the Subzeru's festival. Didn't Nahida use a starlight analogy before? It had something to do with Sataria. The moon refers to Nahida herself. Starlight refers to the people of the desert. The illusion and lies refers to the academia plants. Of sense. Huh. <clears throat> Do you think Nahida was telling us to go find help in the desert? But she isn't with us anymore. Uh, think we'll be okay? Paimon, you said Sanctuary of Surasthana. Does this mean that this Nahida you're talking about, the consciousness who was occupying the traveler's body, is the Dendro Archon? Uh, your guess is correct. But the situation's a bit complicated, so it's really hard for us to explain right now. That's all right. A scholar's curiosity doesn't need to be appeased right away. As for the complicated nature of the situation, safe to say I have witnessed that for myself. I've spent some time with you, and it looks like the Dendro Archon's also on your side, so I trust you. Oh, wow. Thank you, Tainari. Oh, actually, we came here to ask you a question. What do you know about the project that the Sages have been working on? Ah, that. While I was indeed invited to join that project, the Sages were always secretive about its scope and goals. So I eventually declined. All I know is that that project has something to do with the restoration of Ermensol. I think I know what the project is about. I just received some new intel. Huh? Did you see something when you were in Nahida's body? The Academia is turning the Balladeer into a god. What? Holy what? Do you have any evidence? I saw a nascent god under construction. Hypatia also showed us a so-called divine consciousness. Hmm. Damn, that's scary. Holy shit. Hmm. So that's what happened. That explains why Hypatia's symptoms were different from those of the other scholars who went mad. It's because she made contact with the consciousness of a new god who is still in the process of being born. Tainari, did you leave the Avidia Forest because of Hypatia? I did. I noticed Hypatia's mental anomalies, but since her symptoms were rather atypical, I secretly took her to Pardee's Dei and began searching for a way to return her to her normal self. If I didn't take action, Hypatia would have already been taken by the Matra to the desert, doomed to a life of exile at Aru Village. Now that you mention it, I knew the Academia has never thought particularly highly of Lesser Lord Kusanali, but... but I still didn't expect them to do something as arrogant as creating a new god. Looks like I made the right decision by not accepting their invitation. The two is also behind some of this. The Doctor and the Balladeer. We have two Fatui Harbingers in Sumeru. Sounds like we're in for a bad time. From your description, I don't think they've completed their project. There may still be room for us to intervene. Oh damn, that's quite a megazord. What is the connection between creating a new god 
and restoring Ermin's soul. Yeah, it feels like we're still nowhere close to figuring out the sage's goals. Let's head to the desert for now. Right, we've pretty much gone over everything we need to know, so we should head out. How about you, Tainari? What are you going to do? I'll stay here for now. I still want to try a few more things to help Apasia. If you're planning to go into the desert, start by heading for Caravan Rabat. That'll be your fastest route. Come find me here if there's anything else I can do to help. May the Spirit of Wisdom go with you. Thanks, Tainari. Hopefully Apasia will feel better soon. We're off then. God is back. Yeah, that's ominous as all fuck now I know you're referring to Scaramouche. Damn it! That's what that really fucked up, huh? Okay, uh let me check on those achievements. Oh god, I just Okay, there we go. Okay, I might not do this. I will do that. Tomorrow, most likely. So let's do actually. Nah. Let's go. We're way behind schedule. Actually, no. I think I'm gonna stop my stream here. Yep. Thanks for joining me, everyone. I'll see you all next time. Bye.